Hi, welcome back to Cammie's Classroom here at The Op. I'm your host, Cammie, and I will be teaching you today some tips and tricks of how to play Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle Defense Against the Dark Arts. It's our two-player competitive deck building game. So grab your wands and let's get started. So the first tip and trick I have for you is choosing your starting ally. Along with your house, this is how you're gonna really build the foundation of your deck. So what are your choices? You have a cat. This is gonna give you one attack, but only if you play three spells. You're gonna need to be acquiring more and more spells throughout the game to make sure that this cat stays useful. But what if your opponent gets a cat? Grab a toad. This is gonna give you one health every turn, regardless of whether what you play. It makes a great defensive deck. My favorite is the owl. This gives you an extra influence to use right from the beginning that you can save up on that card. This allows you to get to those seven and eight value influence cards sooner than your opponent can. It's gonna get you a better deck faster. So what are some of the first cards you wanna to add to your deck? You really want to look and see what allies are available because what they're going to do is give you access to extra cards each turn. Allies stay in front of you. They act as a sixth card, sometimes even a seventh card if you have your starting ally and another one out. But the bonus that they really have is that they allow you to have house affiliated effects that are not your own. So let's take a look at the two allies in our starting classroom. Here we have Rubius Hagrid. We also have Cedric Diggory. Hagrid's great. But Cedric Diggory is suddenly going to allow me to use Hufflepuff affiliated effects as if I was a Hufflepuff. So now not only do I get the Gryffindor cards that are going to work for me, I'm also going to get Hufflepuff cards that do. So my next pickup, Cedric Diggory. Followed very, very closely by this awesome Gryffindor card because this is going to give me two effects instead of just one on my turn. So I'm going to add that to my deck also. So one of the things you wanna watch out for with allies though, is to make sure that your opponent doesn't get them in before you do. So one of the things I like about this game is there is an ability to banish cards from the classroom. I can get rid of cards that might not fit right in my deck, but I don't want my opponent to get a hold of also. So I don't want Draco Malfoy, but I definitely don't want my opponent to get him. He does one attack for every single ally that I have in my deck. He's going to attack me. So I'm already starting to acquire some allies. Let's do some good here. We're going to banish him. My final tip for you is to watch how your opponent is building their deck. If they pick up Talantra Legra, that's going to give you two attack and put a hex in your discard pile. So what are hexes? Hexes are gonna limit what you can do on your turn. Confundus says I can only gain one attack. Well, I've already got a cat in my hand. That is gonna make the rest of my cards that would give me attack useless. So I wanna get this out as fast as possible. Pick up those cards that allow you to banish. Not just the cards from the classroom, but from your hand as well. It's gonna get rid of those hexes so they can't hurt you, but can also get rid of your weaker starting cards. This allows you to build a more streamlined deck faster. It's gonna let you get to those great cards that you already acquired as soon as you possibly can. Just be careful not to thin your deck too much so it's just hexes. That's not gonna make for a fun game. Thank you for joining me here at Cammie's Classroom at The Op. I've had a great time these last few weeks giving you some tips, tricks, and how to plays of Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle Defense Against the Dark Arts. Pick up your copy today at your local game store. Thanks and have fun playing.